But Marshall nurtures a decidedly non-traditional creative flair when it comes to his painting. Kayla Roberts has the story. Art's always been a part of my life. I can't think of not having it in my life. My sole purpose is just to create art. Mike Marshall grew up in Mission, South Dakota and received a Bachelor of Arts degree from Sente Gleska University. Mike's love of traditional Lakota art and games has brought him to where he is today. I'm interested in that time period from the early reservation era, uh, which would have been the late 1800s all the way about to the mid 1800s. And men uh, practiced a realistic style of work. It's very stylized. And I just try to, uh, try to reproduce that in my own style and maybe with my own colors. So that's something I'm really doing a lot of. I think that's why people appreciate what I'm doing because I do do those kind of things as well. I do traditional works that are, are really traditional in material and, and uh, application or idea, whatever. Okay, and I think people really enjoy that about some of the things I do. I love pictograph or ledger art. Uh, you saw that a lot later on into the reservation period when they were actually producing those pieces for sale. So I, I just love that. I love Amos Badhart Bull. He's like my artist. Uh, he was a pictograph artist from uh, Pine Ridge, somebody I really admire. Mike's second career as a professional guide for huntsmen helps him collect authentic traditional materials for his pieces. The outdoor life is a part of what I am and just it just came natural to be able to use those those materials that were left over from my hunts or things I found and incorporated into uh, what I think is art and as, as, as actually uh, that in uh, my love of the culture too. I think there's only about two or three other people that are really interested in reviving the old games and I happen to be one of them. And some games um, are universal. We have a spinning top game. You can see the same thing in the European culture, uh, Japanese culture, whatever, you know. Well, this is just one of the games I make. This would be a little girl's game set. It's called Chikala Shikatapi, which means little play. So it's just like uh, modern girls and their Barbie dolls, okay? So I've got the mama doll here. Here's a little girl doll. This is a travoy. And there should be a little horse stick that goes with this. And the little girl would set the horse stick in there and just kind of drag it around. This game would have taught the girls, or would have served as a role play thing. In contrast to his very traditional approach with Lakota toys and games, Mike is very experimental with his paintings. Lately, I've been getting into doing batiks, which is a, like a, a wax resist painting with, with dyes, cloth dyes, and you actually paint with hot wax. What I like about it, it's really, it's free and it's flowing and I don't plan anything. I just go with uh, whatever and, and let the wax spill, you know. And, and all of a sudden you just come up with this, this, this illusion, you know, it's happening with your piece. One of my favorite ones is, is this, uh, this blue one over here in the corner. Um, for me, it's just, just the idea of nature at a, at a microscopic level, okay? So you've got all these dot patterns and they're just like my thoughts, you know, going into, uh, into the universe or whatever and just kind of fading out like the bottom of it is is coming up and it, it's eating up my thoughts or whatever and that's just how I want to look at nature in that way those in the in a way that's a, a landscape painting for me. Peter Strong director of the Heritage Museum at Red Cloud Indian School sees traditional Lakota history in Mike's art. Every year that I've seen Mike's work, I've seen him here at our show as well as at uh, the Northern Plains Indian Art Market in, in Sioux Falls. Every time I see his work, he's got wonderful traditional pieces from uh, parflesh containers uh, in, a, in a very uh, historically accurate traditional design 
to uh, wonderful batiks that, that have shown great use of color and figure, uh, as well as, as you see behind me, uh, uh, a well, very well done uh, box and border design uh, buffalo robe. So it's painted in, in very much the same way of, as you would have seen on buffalo robes uh, in the 1800s and, and pre-contact and, and at a lot of different times. And his work is always very well done, very meticulous. Uh, and it, and it's, it's interesting to see an art, a Lakota artist who, who really does stay true to his traditional roots. So in a way, I'm making a connection with uh, you know, the past and, 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 and the ideas are the way I want to present it. I don't spend a lot of time on one thing. I want to keep moving. If you wait too long on something, you, you lose your idea or, or what you wanted to do. That's why I like to get it, get it over with, you know, or get into it. It just takes that first step of getting out there and getting brave and letting people know who you are and what you do.